what's up guys it's your boy the feist i'm sorry if the video doesn't look too great but if you're here today i'm going to be showing you how to do this look at the buttons look at the monitor look at my phone pressing you're going to learn how to turn your arcade on by just using your mobile phone there you go check it out Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy the Feist back at it with another video, but if it's your first time here, definitely be sure to hit it, hit, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Come join us on Discord, it's the best community ever. Come follow us on Twitch, that's where we stream live, as well as on uh, YouTube. And last but not least, if you wanted to support the channel financially, we do not have YouTube monetization. Check out that YouTube description below, we have a Patreon link, but we also have an Etsy storefront link. We have coffee mugs and t-shirts and more things on the way. So guys, today I am going to be showing you how to remotely turn on your PC with your mobile phone. Now, if you were like me, I actually, the past couple of weeks, I've been building this device for a very long time. Uh, like I wanted to build an arcade cabinet where I would have a power button to kind of turn things on. But the thing was, I was very scared of bricking my, uh, my custom PC in case that I did these power supply wire things incorrectly so i try to find so many other ways on doing this there's ways of turning it on with a keyboard if you have a ps2 connector and i tried that i tried a wireless keyboard to a ps2 connect i tried so many things guys but this was the safest and coolest way to do it so i am going to show you guys how to go about this right now all right, guys, so uh, right now I am on my arcade PC. I actually am doing this. I do this to actually stream. I started doing it uh, last night and I absolutely love the setup I did. Um, but essentially what you're gonna need to do to do this uh, technique, which is a, called a wake on LAN network technique, is basically the first thing you need to do is have your PC on the network. So I actually have an ethernet cable traveling to it so it's connected online. Uh, if I go into, and forgive me that I go really slow because I am using a trackpad, we're gonna go into the networks tab over here just to kind of show you. Um, let me see if I click this. Um, to be private. It's so weird. I changed it to private so it could actually, uh, let's see, change connection properties. Yeah, so if you go to, if you change it to private, it says, for a network you trust, such as home or work, your PC is discoverable and can be used for printer and file sharing when you set up. So basically, it, I did it so I would be able to access this with the app I will discuss in a little bit on my phone. But I changed this. Um, also, just a heads up, before this configuration, um, you the assumption is that your BIOS is already set up to uh, accept PCIe as enabled in the BIOS. I didn't have to do that. It was already set up like that in my BIOS, but trying to get into the BIOS and the configurations on where you have to do to enable it, I would say before you even deal with the BIOS guys, just do what I'm about to show you, see if it works, and then if it doesn't work still, then go into the BIOS and do the changes accordingly. But the next thing you're gonna wanna do, guys, is you're gonna wanna go into the device manager, you go over here, and then you're gonna be looking for network adapters. You're gonna be going to network adapters and you're gonna be finding which one is yours. In my case, it is the Intel Ethernet Connection 1217LM. I'm gonna right click this, I'm gonna go properties, and then I'm going to advanced, and then scrolling all the way down here, you'll see that it says wake on LAN magic packet. You're gonna want to have this enabled. This is the only thing I changed, guys. Now, just to give you a heads up, uh, before I even did this, when I originally got this, uh, this PC, it did not have this. So what I needed to do was I needed to update the drivers. Uh, it tried to ask me to update the operating system and I said, no, I want to do the specific drivers exactly. So then I went to the driver for the update and then that was pretty much it. Let me see if I could go to, if I could try to uh, set this up to see if I can go to it. Update driver, search automatically, browse my computer. I think it was like search for, search for driver, blah, blah, blah. I think what I did next was I went to Intel R Ethernet connection and I tried to look for the driver. So I did something like this. Let me see. 
And then it was, what was ours? I'm just gonna window tab this. I hate that I'm using a trackpad. It makes it so painful using it. So then I searched for this 1217 LM and it took me here and I went to get the specific one for that. So then we're gonna make this bigger and the one I went for was Windows 10 Family, I think if I go, let's see, Windows 7. Yeah, I think I went for this one, I scroll down and then it says, which one do you want? And you do the Windows 10 Family, the, uh, I did the, um, the 64 bit one versus the 32. There's no computers that are really made in 32 nowadays. And uh, don't go for the pro set stuff. The pro set is some extra things, but I basically downloaded this, but that's what, that's the technique on how you would go to get your driver guys. I was just trying to go a little further so you guys can get an idea how I went about it. I downloaded the 64 one, installed it. And then once I did, it appeared on my list. Uh, over here in the uh, property section. So once I went to advanced again, I was able to see it. I think it stopped up to like speed and duplex for me in the beginning. But then once I did the update, I had it, I enabled it, I closed it. I did the network is private and then that's all I did for this computer. Now for the mobile, what I wanna show you guys is, and I can't show you through my phone here, is what I'm gonna show you is what the app looks like. So. I'm gonna search for it now in the Google store. Uh, so I'm gonna go to, so you're gonna get Wake on LAN, this app right here. This app here is amazing guys. So once you open this app, uh, after you did all these changes, you'll be able to discover your device on here. Um, there's like a, a search section for it to search for like your devices. It's like, so guys, I can't show you mine, but on the bottom, there's a plus symbol. You're gonna click that. And then it's gonna start providing you a list of things to actually search for on which one you wanna add to do it. You add your computer to the one that you want to wake on LAN and then you save it. After that, uh, you turn your computer off, you click it on this app and it will turn it on magically because it sends a magical packet through uh through the network to turn it on this is the easiest way to actually turn this on guys so you don't have to do any power supply cable manipulations no funny things like that you just kind of do it like that and then so on and so forth and then you have uh an arcade cabinet that you never need to hit from behind the screen or behind the the, the wood open it press the button you don't need to have a power button going anywhere you just do this fancy technique with this phone and then that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this information was super useful to you guys. Uh, I definitely wanted to give some knowledge. And uh, if you're doing the same thing that I'm doing, which is I built a, a custom arcade in like three weeks, uh, definitely uh, I hope this information helps you out. You can also do this for other reasons, guys. Uh, some people have reasons for like, you know, the power button is really far away and they're desk for some reason they have some elaborate setup that the pc is somewhere on the other side this is a more reasonable reason because obviously it's a huge arcade cabinet you don't want to keep trying to open it from behind to press the power button on you want a really fancy way a quick way to just kind of press something to turn it on and get it going you can turn it off from the front easily without a problem uh so that was pretty much it Hit that subscribe button if you appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, if you guys like the arcade, let me know what you guys think about it. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm having a lot of fun with it right now. And we're playing a lot of retro games. So if you are a retro game fan, definitely uh, join the family so you could see some more retro games that we play. We also play new stuff as well. But until the next uh, video, I will catch you guys later. Peace. See you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry, guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know 
about this uh, this channel. Tell them to come and hang out. Come join us on Discord. You will not regret it. It's the best community slash family ever. It says it right there on the freaking board. Yo, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I love you guys so much, and I will catch you guys next time. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next, what you think about the video, and so on. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.